Also guys, welcome back to the vlog. SEMA day four, we got some ground to cover, but we're gonna be here all the way from morning till the night. So this might be a two part vlog. We're gonna just vlog everything in the convention center and then the festivities after. But nonetheless, if you guys haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, it's your boy Lance. And yeah, let's have some fun today. Such a clean RX-7, dude. Big, huge wing, crazy color on the white white wheels with all white interior as well literally just straight up got it guys oh my gosh bro all carbon fiber r32 guys probably here in the toyo booth this is like the best looking car man to you the z06 oh my gosh chevy is going to change the game of american muscle guys 600 plus horsepower in the new z06 it's gonna give ferrari and all those other guys a run for their money but i wasn't a fan of c8s at first but after like i don't know these past few years it's been growing on me guys and in this color like can't tell if it's white or if it's silver but there's like a hint of a purple into it too dang man just to see this car in person tj hunts wide body twin turbo full-on crazy setup the contrast with the british racing green and the gold guys such beautiful setup like unbelievably sick with not quad exhaust but with seven tip exhaust hands down the best body kit for a c8 with the big wing i love the way that the wide body extends and they don't have the rivets exposed so everything is built underneath which is probably one of the more innovative things that they've done with the c8 wide body vet Now this is what I'm talking about guys, Millennium Jade R35 with the Varys done by the one and only Dustin Williams. It's so much nicer in person when you see the Millennium Jade. The way that it just shines guys, there's no comparison with the Advan R6 wheels. So these are the newer Advan wheels that just came out, I want to say a few years ago but these are the six spoke in comparison to the GTs, which are the five spoke. But nonetheless, Advan wheels all day, every day. I wish I could put it on my GTR, but they don't make it for wide body custom setups. But literally everything is all set over here, guys. Advan GTs, the R6s, RG4s. You got the Yokohama wheels all over here with the Gram lights. Of course, everybody knows the TE37s. Sheesh, bro. Mustang Fastback guys, I'm like 90% confident that it's painted in Kona Blue or this is like the closest it can be to Kona Blue. Crazy thing about this car too, it's got like dry carbon accents here and there. So we got some in the front splitter as well as in the mirror caps and just beautiful clean car all the way around.
4.30 on bags. This is Alex from Fitment Industries car. And this thing is so clean, guys. I like the mix of the gray with the copperish bronze. But damn, man. Nice wing. Uh, one day, if I was to get a Ferrari, this would probably be my first choice right here. <laughs> Here at the Gitani booth, if you guys watch DE, a lot of their builds come out from this shop, guys. Like SVJ, crazy setups. Everybody knows this is like probably one of the most best sounding cars ever is a Ventador SVJ. He even got the rear hatch exposed, carbon fiber, brace, everything. This is probably like the best V12 ever built guys man i swear every single corner that i turn there has to be a c8 sitting somewhere but hey gotta love it bro front and center guys r33 400r these are such a rare breed of cars even with the og nismo wheels nonetheless this car is hard to come by one of the most rarest cars you could ever find now this z is straight up badass carbon wide body ls swap i know ls swap is very op when it comes to the z line you know honestly if someone was to do a vr38 dett from the gtr r35 and swap it into an old fair lady z i really think that's what's gonna change the game demonstrations of wrapping right over here and we got the pandom rocket bunny straight from utah in this yellow oh my god this is one car i do want to build as well guys but next to it is of course the stratman's bugatti veyron this color in this matte looking teal i don't know the exact name but with the white wheels like you only see this kind of stuff on youtube but finally seeing this in person it's absolutely beautiful guys first look at the new nissan z now this is going to be a game changer because they're finally going back to a twin turbo setup so it's a v6 3.0 twin turbo setup which is basically a mini godzilla but finally we get to see it in person all the little like easter eggs that you can see the silver lining with the samurai sword throw back to the old fair lady z in the front and then in the rear it's inspired by the old 300 zx but seeing it in person guys not gonna lie i like it these cars is literally stealing this side of the hall man like this is where all the attention's at right now koenigsegg and a Pagani. If you own this car right here, you just have just stupid money. Honestly, guys, it's so crazy. Literally everything along the door trim, all carbon fiber, seats carbon fiber, quarter panels, everything. Rear hatch completely carbon fiber. I think the only thing that's not carbon fiber is this section right here. But the Pagani is equipped with an AMG as well. Absolute beauty right here. Nozitex booth. This is one booth that I really wanted to go to. New 997 RWV. This thing, it's so clean. I love this color. I love the pink. I love the new black. That baby-ish blue in that Nozitex. It literally, guys, this is a wrap. Like, you, it looks like paint, but it's only a wrap. And just having all of these cars here, it's so nuts. But the main attraction is because, this bad because, boy uh, right here alex Choi's new build it's crazy just standing in this angle you can see all the different colors blue pink purple like that gold look up at the top up here you can really see the gold towards the backside, but in that color shift, 
Mm. So good. How's it going, dude? Nice, nice. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. It's cool if I vlog with you? Yeah, of course, of course. I've been watching your vlogs for the longest time. Thank I have you. an R35 as well, that's Oh, why. no way. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. What color is it? Uh, Super silver. Nice, I yeah. love the silver. I just finished doing the wide body like Congrats. a couple months ago. Okay, well, what, what wide body yeah. did you do? I did the charge speed. Nice, Get very so nice. Food. Yeah. So there's only there. so few of them. Yeah, very yeah. so. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoying the show? Yeah. What's your I like favorite it. thing that you've seen so far? I would probably say, other than yours, because I, I love the Advent wheels, I would say probably Alex's car, nice. Alex's choice. Yeah, the crazy ass yeah. Uh, Lambo. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I meant to ask you, because I talked to Mickey about it the other day. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking between an NSX or R32. What would you take? I'm a GTR guy. So I'm always going to say <laughs> R32. But I mean, it's personal preference at that point, yeah. you know? Like, those are both great, great cars. Mm. You're a Honda guy, you're a GTR guy, you know? Yeah, true. Because I have a 370 Nismo at home. Okay. But it's like virgin. And I just don't want to do anything to it Sick. because it's a virgin, yeah, you know? Yeah. So I'm thinking about just buying something that I can just mod. Yeah, yeah, dude. But I love GTRs, so. Yeah. yeah. Bro, you're, you're like the king of Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, yeah, thank you, yeah. Thank you. First look at the new Subaru BRZ. I'll be honest, guys. Kinda don't like it. The only thing I like about these is the Advan GTs. But just in the rear, I don't know why, but it reminds me of the Hyundai Genesis. But if you like it, you like it. My taste, mm, not so much for me. But ooh, this thing is a right-hand drive though, that's cool. Very nice. And we got the HKS R32 GTR. World famous. What more can you say? All right, before we go get some lunch, I just want to show you guys the new NSX Type S. Now, unfortunately, they're going to be doing away with the NSX. So this is just my speculation that this being like the last of the NSX, I really think that this is going to be a collector's item, just like how the R35 is with the Millennium Jade and the Midnight Purple. But this thing, looks really nice if you can put an order on a type s i would say get it now this is something they should have done from the very beginning is have a target top just like the old ones but now we see it in a target top or sport top that they call it i think that's a that's a really good option well this is where i'm ending part one of day four at tima we're gonna go get some lunch and then we'll be back for the late night festivities. If you guys haven't done so, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Well, from today, but the next vlog.